Hey, this is Chris with Design Hazards. Today we're going to be building a one-of-a-kind lamp out of an old teapot. Altogether, it costs about $30 and takes only around 30 minutes. Creating your own teapot is pretty simple. You'll combine a pot or some other sort of body, a lamp kit, which gets wired through and mounted onto the body, and a light bulb. Here's what you'll need for this project. First, find a teapot for the lamp body. We found an antique metal one for $20. Unlike ceramic or glass, you can drill through metal without having to worry about causing cracks. Look for one with a top knob that's bolted on rather than welded. Other options for the body include old jugs or glass bottles. At the hardware store, look for a Westinghouse lamp kit in the lighting or electrical section. It costs around 10 bucks and includes a bulb socket, a power cord, and some fittings. While you're there, pick up a packet of assorted lamp pieces, washers, nuts, and extra fittings. These will come in handy and are only about a buck or two for a packet. Almost every lamp socket at the hardware store is going to be brass colored, and if your teapot isn't brass, that might not look great. So head over to the paint aisle. I picked up a can of Rust-Oleum spray paint in a finish called Hammered Gray. It's a perfect color match to the pewter teapot, and the hammered finish makes the socket look a little bit higher end. You'll need just a few tools for this project, probably all stuff you already have around the house. Grab your trusty drill, a couple of drill bits, and a screwdriver. Make sure you're using bits designed for drilling through metal. You'll need a 3 8 inch bit for the lamp fittings, and a smaller bit for drilling some pilot holes. I kept this lamp simple by using just a bare light bulb. If you do that, I recommend using a vintage style bulb. Sometimes they're called Edison style or squirrel cage bulbs, and they have a looping filament that's really cool looking. You'll find these online and in some hardware stores for about $8. Add a $6 plug-in lamp dimmer to get the full effect. If you'd prefer to have a lamp with a shade on it, be sure to get a harp that can fasten onto the socket and a finial to fasten the shade. Let's get started building this lamp. Unscrew the top knob on the teapot, and then check the diameter of the hole. If necessary, enlarge the hole with your drill. Then bolt on the fastener. On the back of the teapot, find a spot near the bottom for the electrical cord to exit. Mark it with a sharpie. Drill a pilot hole with your small bit. Then enlarge the hole with your 3 8 bit. Bolt in another fastener. Thread the cord up into the body. Thread the cord through the socket base. Attach the leads to the socket head and tighten. Pull out any slack on the cord and snap the socket head into the base. Add your light bulb and you're done. Here's our cost breakdown for this project. We found our teapot for $20 at an antique store. The lamp kit cost nine bucks at Home Depot and a packet of extra fittings was $2. Thanks for watching. For more projects and inspiration, check out our website at www.designhazards.com.